Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In today's video, we will talk about adding and subtracting radicals. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So what we have here are these examples, and later on, we, we, we will have the second set of examples for adding and subtracting radicals. So basically, guys, the basic rule in adding and subtracting radicals is that you can only add or subtract radicals with similar radicand. So let me give you an example of similar radicand. If we have this one, square root of 2 and 3 square root of 2. These two radical expressions can be added or can be subtracted. So how do we identify whether the given radicals are similar? Una, tignan niyo muna yung loob, yung radicand. As you can see, the radicands are both 2. And then, second na kailangan niyo tignan ay yung kanilang index. Since parehas dito invisible, meaning the index of these radicals is equal to 2. So, these are similar radicals. So, let me give you an example of not similar radicals. Let's try... So, I have here the 4th root of 4 and the square root of 4. Though parehas yung kanilang radicand sa loob, o yung expression sa loob, magkaiba naman yung kanilang index. Dito, the index is 4. Here, the index is 2. So, we will not be able to add or subtract this kind of radical expressions. Okay? Let's dive into these examples. In number 1, we have 7 square root of 3 plus 2 square root of 3. Check muna natin yung radical expression. Okay, the index are both equal to 2. The radicands are the same, meaning we can add them. So, how do we add this kind of radicals? First, copy the radicals. Since we have here square root of 3, in square root of 3, that is simply as square root of 3. And here, the number outside are treated as coefficients. So, ang maging Solution natin dito is simply like this one. 7 plus 2. Yung iba, they're doing this mentally. But in this case, I will show this step by step kung paano siya i-add. So we have 7 plus 2, which is equal to 9. Then copy the square root of 3. And our answer here is 9 times the square root of 3. This is the correct answer. Okay? So let's move on with item number 2. In number 2, obviously, these are similar radicals. So what we need to do, subtract the numbers. We have 5 minus 3. Copy the similar radical, which is the square root of 8. So what we need to do is to subtract this. This is 5 minus 2. Ang sagot natin dyan ay 2. Pero, uh, hindi pa natin pwede declare na final answer is square root of 8. Because we can still factor out or we can still extract the square root of 8. Though in this a perfect square, we can factor out 8 bilang 4 times 2. Dapat kapag naka-encounter naka kayo ng, ano, ng radical na hindi perfect square pero kaya pang extract, you need to know if meron siyang factor na perfect square. Here, 4 is a perfect square. So, ang square root ng 4 ay 2. So, ang tendency, ilalabas natin siya. So, it will become like this. Originally, we have 2 here. Eh? 2. And then, the square root of 2, uh, the square root of 4, is times 2. You will multiply it by 2. Then, square root of 2. Sir, saan po natin nakuha yung 2 na pangalawa? Yung 2 natin dito sa labas, it came from the square root of 4. Nilabas natin siya sa radical sign. Okay, and the square root of 4 is 2. So, what we have now is 2 times 2 from the square root of 4, then the square root of 2, and then simplify. 2 times 2 is 4. So, what we have is 4 times the square root of 2. And this is the answer for item number 2. Hi right, guys. So, galing lang siya kapag similar radicals, but you need to 
check if we can still simplify the similar radicals. So let's move on with item number 3. For number 3, what we have here is 4 square root of 12 plus 3 square root of 27 minus 2 square root of 48. So as you can see, they're the similar radicals. Pero, pwede natin siyang i-extract muna. So as you can see, 12 can be extracted kasi merong perfect square na factor si 12. Same with 27 and 48. So let's try. The factors of 12 are 4 times 3. 4 is perfect square. So what we have now is 4 times the square root of 4 times 3. Ito ang clue dito guys. Simply yan lang natin. As you can see, between 4 and 3, 4 is the perfect square, while 3 is not. Ito yung sa atin radical. So, ang ginagawa ko dito, ito yung nagiging hint ko, or ito yung nagiging clue ko, what, that uh, one of the factors of 3, isa sa mga factors ng 3 sa 48, ay 3. Okay? Or in other words, merong factors ng 27 at 48 na 3. Try natin. Plus 3. Ang 27 natin can be factored out as 9 times 3. Okay? ba? Similar na sila meron 3. Minus 2 square root of yung 48 natin can be factored out as 16 times 3. So meron tayo may iwan na pare-parehas or common radical. The square root of 4 is 2. So what we have is 4 times 2 times the square root of 3, iwan natin the square root of 3, plus 3, then times the square root of 9, extract natin, labas natin, which is 3, then square root of 3, minus 2, the square root of 16 is 4, so we have 4 square root of 3. Simplify the coefficients outside, 4 times 2 is 8, so what we have here is 8, square root of 3, then 3 times 3 is 9. We have 9 times 3. Negative 2 times 4. That is negative 8. Square root of 3. So as you can see, extracted na square roots, tapos similar ng kalang radicals. So dito, obviously, kapag inad natin to, 8 square root of 3 minus 8 square root of 3 is 0 na. Parang kinansel out na natin siya. What will remain here is simply 9 square root of 3. And this is the final answer for number 3. So I hope guys, nakukuha nyo na yun, eh. So let's continue. Let's have number 4. For number 4, we have the square root of 54, square root of 36, square root of 24. Factor natin to. The factors of 54 are 9 times 6. 9 is perfect square. Ito naman, perfect square and 36, so that is 6. Diba? For this, uh, factors ng 24, meron tayo rito 6 na may 1. So, most likely, ano yan, 4 times 6. Okay? So, dito, Magiging 3 square root of 6, kasi the square root of 9 is 3, plus 6, plus itong 4, 4 times 6 magiging 2 square root of 6. So sir, paano po yan? Ito. Sir, are they similar radicals lahat? Hindi. Since itong 6 natin ay walang radical, wala siyang similar. So copyin ko lang to 6, then for these two radicals, 3 plus 2, that is 5, copy the radical 6. So this is the final answer. Okay? So what's next? For number 5, cube root naman tayo. We have the cube root of x plus 6, the cube root of 2x, minus 5, the cube root of x. Hindi sila similar radicals lahat. Ang similar lang ay ito sa ito. So meron tayo itong invisible 1. As our exponent, so what we have is 1 minus 5 times the cube root of x. And then ito wala siyang kaparehas, ihiwalay natin, that is plus 6 the cube root of 
2x. For this part, 1 minus 5, that is negative 4. Then the cube root of x plus 6, the cube root of 2x. And this is now the final answer, guys. So, kung medyo nabibilis na kayo dito sa explanation ko, you can, uh, you can swipe down the, the video para pwede nyo siyang pwedeng i-replay. Let's move on with item number 6. May variables na kasi ito, di ba? Kaya medyo baka malito kayo. We have 2x times the square root of 3, 24x, plus 5 the square root of 3, 81x to the 4th power. So, cube root to. So, kailangan natin isipin kung merong, perfect, kung merong perfect cube na factors ang 24 because 24 is not a perfect cube. So, what we have is 2x. Ang factors ng 24 na cube root ay, ay na perfect cube ay 8. So, we have the cube root of 8 times 3, tapos meron tayong x. Hindi natin may extract to kasi wala siyang perfect cube. Plus, 5. Itong 81 naman natin, factors ng 81 na perfect cube is 27. So, 27 times 3. Itong x to the 4th power, we can factor it out as x cubed. Times x, pwede yan. So, extract na natin. The cube root of 8 is 2. So, labas natin yung 2. So, that is 2x times 2. May iwan sa 3x sa loob. So, we have the cube root of 3x. Dito naman, we have 5 originally outside. Tapos, the cube root of 27 is 3. So, labas natin, that is 3. Okay? So, what's next? So, try natin na. Eh. Um, okay. So, dito, na, na, next sack natin 27, yung 3 wala siya. Pero itong x cubed natin, pwede siyang gawing x na lang. Cube root of x cubed is x. And then, matitira sa atin dito ay yung 3x na rin. So, we have here, 3x. Simplify muna natin yung outside. So, what we have is 2x times 2 is 4x. Then, cube root of 3x. Ito naman, 5 times 3 times x is 15x. So, we have here is the cube root of 3x. As you can see, similar yung kalang radicals. Pero, be careful here. Kailangan yung coefficients parehas din. Ito, 4x saka 15x, pwede sila. They are like terms. So, 50, uh, 4x plus 15x, that is 19x. Tapos, itong dalawang to, pagsamayan natin sila, times the cube root of 3x. Ito yung sagot natin, guys. Medyo mahaba yung video natin, pero sana panoorin nyo to and share nyo to sa mga classmates nyo. So, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at I-hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!